Blessed morning, blessed morning, blessed morning. Come on in. What a joyful day it is to be in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Glory unto God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Blessed morning, Sister Stephanie. Thank you for joining. God bless you. God bless you, Sister Carla. Thank you for joining. Blessed morning. Sacrifice for God this morning. How I many of you want to be closer to God this morning? How many of you just want to be purified? As you come on, please begin to share, tag, like, and invite some people on. Give people a couple more minutes to jump on this morning to hear the word from the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. This is something, this is a word that the Lord has been dealing with me about, and it's been in my spirit to be released and to be reiterated and just to keep telling the people of God. We are in desperate times and that this is the time that we need to have our hearts purified and on fire for God. Amen. God bless you, Sister Denise. Thank you for joining. God bless you. God bless you to my wonderful, beautiful wife, Pastor Yvette. God bless you. to do this morning. Amen. Come on, come on. Let's give the Lord a praise this morning. Oh, let's offer him up a praise this morning. Amen. Let's worship him. Finest fire. Just let the song minister to you this morning. Tried by fire, purified this morning. Yes, God, clean us, Lord. Mm. 
Yes, Lord. Yes, my, 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 my. Yes, God. Mm. Yes, Lord. We want to burn for you, Father God. Only for you, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Oh, we want to burn for you this morning, Lord God. Mm. Yes. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. God bless you, Sister Penny. God bless you. Thank you for joining. Great to see you on, Evangelist. Oh, we just want to be closer to God this morning. We want to be closer. Each and every day, we should draw closer to Him. Oh, to get in His presence. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God bless you, Sister Ava. Thank you for joining this morning. Just burn me this morning, Lord God. Burn up any impurities in me, Father God. Lord God, give me a heart, Lord God. It is after yours, Lord. Create in me a clean and pure heart. Renew within me a right spirit. We thank you, Jesus, this morning. We thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit, we acknowledge you, Lord God. Just have your way this morning, Lord. Just tell the Lord, simply have his way. Just have your way, Lord God. Whatever it is, Father God, that you have for me to do, just, I'm here, Father. Consume me, Lord God, with your fire, Lord God, this morning. Mm, let your fire fall from heaven this morning, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, we thank you, Lord. As you come on, begin to share, tag, like, and invite. Yes, Lord. None of us and all of you, Father. That's what we desire this morning. Yes, God. Yes, God. To be in your perfect will, Father God. Thank you all for coming on this morning. Oh, what a glorious day it is to be in the presence of the Lord. I, I'm just so grateful to come on before the people of God to give a word that is needed in this time. Giving honor and glory to God, who is first and foremost and should be the head of everyone's life. Amen. So we just glorify him this morning. There are not enough words we can speak, not enough tongues that we can speak in, and not enough praises that we can give him that will be satisfying enough because he's done so much for us. He has done so much for us. He has brought us in and out of things and, 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 and the Lord will continue to, to bring you out. He will always be a way maker. He never fails. Amen. We just glorify the Lord this morning. 
right where you are. Just I, I can just I can just hear some of you just worshiping the Lord this morning, right where you are in your homes and your cars and your jobs, wherever it is. And sometimes we we be on our jobs, and I know due to certain regulations we only can do so much. But sometimes you got to find you a quiet place, a corner somewhere, a bathroom, and just go in and just release whatever is on the inside because we know that the Lord is worthy of our praise. Amen. So we should always have a continuous praise in our mouth, giving glory to God, giving thanks to God for all that he has done, all that he is doing and all he is about to do. Because I'm surely in expectation of to see the next move of God, but I still want to be in obedience and doing what God has called me to do. Amen. And that should be everyone's posture. Our posture should be prayer and waiting to hear from the Lord to see what it is that he has for us to do. And many of us know the visions that the Lord has given us. He, we know the assignments that we're supposed to be on. We should not put the pause button on any assignment that the Lord has given us because there are souls out there that needs to be won. We have work to do for the kingdom of God, but we need to get back to the place of being in a posture of repentance because some things that we have done and we have done it so long that we think that it is okay in the eyesight of God and it is not. That's why we need to go back and go and be refined through the refiner's fire. Amen. Because glory be unto God, because there's going to be a time and a, and a day where we're not going to be able to do those things. Amen. But we want to make sure that our hearts are pure and our souls are right with God because we want to see the kingdom of heaven. Amen. We want to go to our home, our eternal home. Amen. We know that this world that we live in is only temporary. Amen. Because we see it happen all around us every day. People are passing away. That's why we have to stay on our posts as believers, as Christians. We're here to win souls for those you know, who, 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 who just don't know Christ. We have to introduce Christ to them. Or I, I wouldn't say introduce because when we were born, we were born into sin and we were shaped into the iniquity. The Lord said he knew us before he formed us in our mother wombs. So it's just things that we've been introduced to in this world that have tainted us, that has polluted us. Amen. So I'm just grateful this morning. My heart is full this morning and I'm just excited, um, you know, just to speak about the word of God. And this days that we live in, it is very much needed, very much needed, very much needed this morning. As you still come on in and, and begin to just share and tag and like, um, because people need to hear this message. If you got to share this broadcast 20 times, share it 20 times, because there are so many dying souls, so many confused souls, because so many people in the church are doing all sorts of manner of things and it, it, they think it's normal and it, it's bringing confusion to some, especially to the young people. It's just confusing. And then when they start to doing it, then you have some looking down upon them. But no, it's, it's, it's learned behaviors. Amen. That's why we have to lead by example. We have to be the ones who are standing on the front line, the ones that's going to make sure, you know, that, we raise up a generation, but do it in a manner with love. Amen. Because we know God is love. So we have to be mindful of what we do because people are watching. Children are watching. That's why we have to bring them unto the Lord. Amen. Just get them in the presence of God. Because time is drawing nigh. Amen. But the Lord says, the closer we draw to him, he'll draw to us. Amen. So I'm just, I'm just full this morning, people of God. Excited to be in the presence of God. Excited for what he is doing in everyone's life. Because I know that the Lord has brought us from a mighty long way. Amen. It says, when I look back over my life. God has truly brought us from a long, mighty long way. Amen. Today, I'm going to be coming from the book of Malachi. And it's going to be the second, no, the third chapter and the third verse. That's the book of Malachi. Third chapter and the third verse. And this may be a familiar scripture to some and it may be new to some. But it's the word of God and, and it's all truth. Amen. 
That's the book of Malachi, the third chapter and the third verse. And as I was playing that song this morning by Maverick City, it's Refiner. It's Refiner. And we're going to be talking about the refiner this morning. Amen. Because we need to be refined in his presence. We need to go through the process. We need to be purified. Amen. People don't understand that it is a process. And that's what some of us get so impatient with. We don't want to go through the process. Things are not just done overnight always. Some things can happen in an instant. But some things, it has to be a process. Amen. So I'm going to begin to read verse 3. It says, and he shall sit as a refiner and purifier of silver. And he shall purify the sons of Levi and purge them as gold and silver that they may Offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. I'm going to read that again. It says, And he, God, shall sit as a refiner and purifier of silver, and he shall purify the sons of Levi and purge them as gold and silver that they may offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. See, people of God, we have to come to the Lord and we have to come to him in righteousness. We just can't come to God any old kind of way. We have to come with a heart of repentance. We have to come to him seeking him in all truths. Amen. We have to come in seek him in righteousness. Whatever we're offering up to the Lord, we have to do it in righteousness. Amen. Glory be unto God. Glory be unto God. Yes, we have to be refined in his presence. See, when God purifies your spirit through wisdom as refiners do metals in the furnace. See, God cannot be pure. Gold cannot be purified except by fire. Amen which consumes all that is earthly and foreign. See, when God begins to purify, very often the soul does not perceive that these operations are intended for his good. Rather, he su supposes the contrary. When we oppose it, amen, when, we, when we're going through the fire, when the Lord is purging us, when the Lord is trying to get us back to the place where we first loved him, it doesn't feel good because we've been so polluted by the things of this world. So now it feels foreign to us, this, this refiner's fire. It feels foreign to us. But no, we have allowed the foreign things to come in. Amen. We're supposed to be pure. We're supposed to be purified, sanctified for God. It's a process, people of God. I know sometimes sanctification is a difficult subject to talk about for many people because many people want to continue doing what they're doing and think it's okay. Amen. They want to continue living in sin because it's a familiar place that they've, they've been accustomed to for so long. Amen. But the Lord is calling you out today. The Lord, I don't know who this is for, but the Lord has had me on this for quite some time now, since like a week or two ago. It is necessary, it is vital in this time. Please forgive the noise of my background. They're out there mowing the lawn, if you can hear it. But you must take an inward journey to ask yourself some hard questions. Is my life pleasing to God? Do my words match my actions? You know, a long time ago, I used to always hear, you know, different preachers preach a sermon about repentance and forgiveness and as we deal with the need for sanctification, we must also know the importance of repentance. Repentance is necessary. Amen. Repentance is necessary. The sanctification process of getting right with God over and over again. 
you know, I've been saying that joining the, the church is just not enough. We just can't join the church and, and think that that's it. No. You and I must be engaged in the process of sanctification. We have to be engaged in it. Our spirit man must be in an alignment with the word of God. Amen. It is an ongoing process whereby we will receive sanctification. It, it, it is a process. The process of getting it right with God is the work of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You feel a tug and a nug at, at, at sometimes when, when some things don't be seen to go right. And you sometimes you get the question in God, okay, or should I be doing it or should? And and when we know better, we do better, Amen. But see, God is holy, and He commands that we should repent, receive salvation, and be sanctified. Amen. I don't know if I'm getting a lot of amens and likes this morning, but glory be unto God. But we are made and meant for heaven. I don't know about you, but we are made and meant for heaven. Amen. I'm I'm meant for heaven. You are meant for heaven this morning. You got to keep telling yourself that you are meant for heaven. You too have a seat in heavenly places to the right hand of the father and to the son. Amen. We are joint heirs to the throne with Christ. Come on now. You got you to gotta speak those things. You got to believe those things. Don't let the enemy come in and try to tell you otherwise. Because that's what he comes to do. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Do not give up your birthright. Do not sell your birthright for nothing of this world, for no one, for nothing. Do not compromise who you are and God for no one or nothing. Amen. So we need to just be on one accord this morning and know that this purification process is necessary and it is desired by God. We have to do what's pleasing to God. Amen. Not man. Because man going to fail you every time. Do what is pleasing to God. You see, God desired that we be in the world, but not of the world. I want you to understand that. See, we get that twisted. Just because we're here don't mean we have to act like everybody and, and, be, and be doing what everybody is doing. Amen. My wife always say, if, if, if they over there doing it, I don't want to do it. For God knows the plans that he has for us. He has good plans for us. Plans to prosper us. Well, he knows the thoughts that he has towards us. They are for good and not of evil. But what? Some versions of the Bible say that we should have expect the end. Some say we should have a hope and a future. You have to understand that this morning. But in order to get to that, you have to be purified and sanctified. You have to go through the process. It, you have to be purified. You want to come out with clean hands. That's why you have to go through the refiner's fire so the Lord can burn up any impurities in you. Because once all that stuff is burnt up, just like how the gold has to go through that process, the purification process imagine yourself as, as, as the goal you're going through the process just like diamonds you know they're cold before they're processed it's a process people of God it's a it's it's a it's a, it's a pressing it, it, it's pressure sometimes yes it don't feel good but it's necessary we have to be pruned back we have to be circumcised we have to have the old things cut away. Our minds have to be renewed in the things of God. A lot of people sin and then ask God for forgiveness. But to only turn back and do the same things. These. Are immature Christians. I've been there. Because it was a familiar place I was comfortable in. Yeah, I repent, Lord, but then go right back doing the same thing. Because when you start that process, you start to feel things on the inside. You start to feel uneasy, but that's just the Holy Spirit working in you. But then it feels uneasy because it seems foreign to you. So you want to revert back to where you just came from. 
The devil is a liar. That's a trick of the enemy. But when you have people that surrounded, you're surrounded by with positive intentions and people who have your best interests at heart and know that have a love for God, they will help you along the way through this process. That's why it's important that you surround yourself with those type of people. And not just anybody. No, you have to be surrounded with strong people. You need to be surrounded by those of the church for real. Amen. That's going to tell you right from wrong. And now they, this is a, 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 a generation where nobody wants to be rebuked. Nobody wants to be corrected. Everybody wants to be right. Nobody wants to be wrong. The word said we were, were what? Be lovers of ourselves. Come on now, because we don't want to hear what nobody else has to say to us. But sometimes people are gone before you to go through things so that you, when you come through, they're there to help you along the way. We have to get it together, people of God. We got to get our houses in order. We have to get our houses in order. True repentance is turning away from sin and turning towards the things of God. Point, period, blank. It is not enough to turn away from the evil things we have done. We must also turn toward Jesus, the light of our salvation. How many of you know that this morning? Without Jesus, we are nothing. But thank God that we have a Savior that went to the cross for us, that bared all our sins. He was bruised for our iniquities. Wounded for our transgressions. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And the word says, by his stripes we are healed. We are healed from everything. Sickness, disease, has hurts. Everything, we are healed from it. From the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet. Glory be unto God. Glory be unto God. Glory be unto God. Glory be unto God. We have to get in alignment with the word of God. We have to get to the purification of God. Seeking him wholeheartedly. Amen. Amen. Seeking him wholeheartedly. We cannot be healed from what we don't reveal. So we got to go to God. We got to go to him in tr all truths. He is already all knowing, but he wants us to come to him in all truths. Laying it all down before him at the altar. Pouring it out to him. So we can begin that process. Repent, people of God. We have to repent. And if we can't repent, how are we going to expect others to repent who are in the world? Paul said he had to repent daily. Mm. But that don't mean just keep repenting and keep doing your same old thing that you've been doing, no. Turn from your evil, wicked ways. Turn from sin. I pray that this message is blessing you guys this morning because it is something that, does, that, that the Lord has been laying on my heart and, 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 and the Father is, is grieving because he has so much more for you. He has so much to give to you. That's just like your natural father, your natural mother. They have so much that they want to see their children you know, some you want to see their children excel. They want to see their children be successful in life. So they will instill in you the wisdom and the knowledge that you need and keep pressing on you. And that's what the Lord does. He, you know, he keeps reminding us of what it is. But he gives you free will. But you have to make up in your minds, choose whom this day you will serve. Amen. We got, we, we have to get it together. I, please share and tag this broadcast, if you will. I, I thank you so much for sharing. Those of you who have already shared, God bless you all. 
because this the days we are living in it, it it's mm, it's very deceitful there's a lot of destruction going on and but but we know that the gates of hell should not prevail amen the gates of hell should not prevail we come to stop the enemy in the name of Jesus. We come to stop the enemy this morning in the name of Jesus. And for those of you who are on this broadcast and for those of who you will come on and catch the replay, I'm going to read in Romans. I'm going to go to Romans 10, verse 9. And, and, and it's talking about the heart of repentance. The acknowledgement and the confessions, you know, when we go to the Lord confessing and repenting of our sin. I don't know, having some issues this morning with this Wi-Fi or something, but glory be unto God. I pray that you guys are still on in the name of Jesus. See, the enemy don't want these type of messages to get out. Yes, this, this is what's needed. Amen. But Romans 10 verse 9. And if you have your Bibles, your mobile devices, and if you feel that you have drifted away from God, if you have wandered off and you need to repent this morning, this is a scripture that, you know, you should go to. I go to it. And trust me, it is definitely a process. And it says, because if you acknowledge and confess with your mouth, that Jesus is Lord, recognizing his power, authority, and majesty as God, and believe in your heart, you got to believe in your heart, that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with a heart, for with the heart, a person believes in Christ as Savior, resulting in his justification that is being made righteous, being freed of the guilt and of sin and made acceptable to God. And with the mouth, he acknowledges and confesses his faith openly, resulting in and confirming his salvation. For the scripture says, whoever believes in him, whoever adheres to Whoever trusts in and relies on him will not be disappointed in his expectations. For there is no distance between the Jew and Gentile. For the same Lord is Lord all over all of us. And he is abounding in riches, blessings for all who call on him in faith and in prayer. For whoever calls on the name of the Lord in prayer will be saved. Amen. If you pray that prayer and you confess with your mouth that the Lord is Lord and you repent of your sins, you turn from it and you acknowledge Christ as your Lord and Savior this morning, you are saved. But I'm going to pray a prayer of repentance this morning and then I pray you all have a blessed, wonderful day. Amen. So, dear God, some we're tired of our sins and our life. Sometimes we feel distant from you, Lord. Our choices have not been the right choices. They have not been led into the right places, Lord God. Well, I've listened to the whispers of the enemy for too long and the, the, they have to stop now. So, Lord God, I come to you, Lord God, confessing all my sins past, present, and future, knowing that you are Christ, you died on the cross for our sins, and that you rose again on the third day, that we may live. So I come to you and ask you to come into my heart, afresh and anew, create in me a clean heart, renew within me a right spirit, so that I may live for you from day to day. And I pray this sincere prayer 
that you purify me, that you change me, that you take me through the refiner's fire, Lord God, for my soul salvation. And I honor you and I bless your name this morning. Lord, in Jesus' name, I pray, amen, amen, and amen. It's, it's, it's that simple, people of God, to pray the refiner's prayer, the prayer of repentance, so the Lord can begin to mold you and, 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 and convert you back to your first love. Amen. Glory be unto God. Glory be unto God. But before we get on, we got to go through our, our morning encouragement sayings this morning. We can't, we can't get on, get off without that. Amen. Glory be unto God. I'm, I'm just excited, people of God, for what God is getting ready to do in this, this time. It is always a blessing to be in the presence of the Lord. So him, who's him? He is molding me. We pray, we prioritize righteousness around you. We're hashtag addicted to Jesus. S2P, we want your soul to prosper. Amen. We be about that Jesus life. We stay ready so we don't have to get ready. We chucking up the deuces to Satan because he telling him he has to go. He has to pack his bags because we ain't scared. Amen. We're B-A-D. We're blessed and delivered. They play checkers. We play chess because we're strategic in how we serve the Lord. We live a life of prosperity. We're rocking with the best. J-E-S-U-S. -S. Tighten up. Pump your brakes. Ask the Lord, say, use me for your glory, Lord. Use me, Lord, for your glory. Stop being extra. You cannot be healed from what you have not revealed. You are what you answer to. You are a child of God, so you shouldn't be answering to anything else other than that. Amen? We don't shake, we shift. We pray together, we praise together. We're kingdom for life. Don't just say it, just pray it. Don't compromise who and what you are in Christ for anyone or anything. Amen. Don't do it. It's not worth it. God going to bring you out without a doubt. Trust God when you can't trace him. We will not bow to anyone or anything but Jesus. Amen. We will not bow to anyone or anything but Jesus. We will get over. I'm not living in a pandemic, but I'm living in a shift -demic. So stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Amen. Stay in your lane. Your lane is God. I trust you. We are free worshipers. We are free worshipers. We will not be moved from out of the presence of God. You cannot evangelize and antagonize at the same time. And our most, uh, our most favorite, our anthem, you know, we're kingdom, baby. We're kingdom for life. We walk in a kingdom mentality. We pursue all righteousness in the kingdom. Amen. And I, I, I just want to share, I gave a message this past Sunday in church and it's simply saying, do not sell your birthright. It's a two part message. It's simply do not sell your birthright. Stay in your positions, remain in your posture. Your posture, it should be the posture of prayer because your posture of prayer will place you in a position where God is going to place you at. So you need to stay in that, stay in that form, stay in that posture. Do not remove, do not come out of it. It is necessary, it is vital. You do not want to give up your birthright for anything or anyone of this world, amen? Do not compromise, do not compromise because there is a blessing. There is a blessing, amen? God bless you all this morning. I thank you all for coming on and joining us. And remember to go always with God. Stay in the presence of God. Keep seeking God and know that God will be with you. Amen. Have a blessed and wonderful day. And we love you all. Be blessed.